Hello, everybody. Okay, this is Jacob Elbaum over from the Adley blog, and I am back. Um, I don't know if any of you guys got a chance to see my last recording. It was about listing your business on Google, um, and to kind of take the next step, um, I would definitely recommend, um, as you'll read a little bit more about below in the post, um, to definitely do a customer satisfaction survey. I can't even begin to stress how important that is, how much that will do for your business, and you know, ultimately, our customers are our, our business. So if you're not trying to see how satisfied they are with whatever you are offering them, you're definitely missing out on, on the potential of growth. So in any case, I will get right to it so that you guys can see how to set up a customer satisfaction survey. Okie dokie. So first, um, I got over here to surveymonkey.com. Um, I did put a link below the video lower down in the post where I actually go into the step-by-step. -step. Um, so you can find it over there um, or you can just search it on Google too. So let's start off by clicking sign up free, assuming that you don't have an account. Okay, so now we're going to choose a username. Um, I'm going to just take a random username as an example and do Jacob Elbaum 1111. And here I will fill my password. Oops. And here an email. Okay. Uh, alternatively, you can also sign up using your Google or Facebook account. I, I just uh, chose to do it this way. But either either way is definitely um, you know the same. So now we're going to click on sign up. Okay. So next, Survey Monkey goes and here's a little bit uh, to show your progress bar. Um, they show you and ask you a bunch of different kind of questions about yourself. Try to give you a personalized experience. Um, it's a good idea to answer these questions, but definitely not needed uh, right away. Um, just a different way of SurveyMonkey giving you. Uh, actually, it's, it's very, very similar to you giving a customer satisfaction survey. Um, they are basically giving you here a survey about you so that they can understand you better and what they, how they could serve you best. Um, but we don't want to do this right now because we want to get this done quickly. So. We're going to go down here towards a skip to survey monkey home. Click that. Okay, so next thing to get started, really, really, really simple. You can click right here at this button that says create survey. And um, if you do want to start from scratch, by all means, go for it. Um, but if you do want to just kind of get this out the way as fast as possible. Um, you are sending a customer satisfaction survey. I would just go ahead and, and go right over here. It's actually the first one, cut a cust in customer satisfaction survey template. And I would click here. Um, here it, it kind of gives you a, a general overview, tells you that it was used many, many times and the time to complete it uh, as a user, as a survey responded is just two minutes. Um, you can go go through and then see some questions and sample results. Um, you know, if if you want to look into it, go for it. But it's it's really not that necessary. Just click on use this template. Okay, so here you do have a few options. Um, if you're reading through the questions and there is something that you want to change. So let's take an example. How would you rate the value for money of the product? So let's say you do want to change it. You simply take your mouse, you hover over the question with your computer's mouse, you click on the button edit, click on that. And then um, you do have a few different options here of editing. Um, if you want to specify a specific product, you, they actually give you kind of like a, an, an, a canned response as to what you would want to potentially change um, as, a, as a survey sender. So here you would click on this um, and you would say what the product is. So for example, let's say 
uh, we were selling Bose headphones and wanted to see how they rate the value of money for Bose headphones. So we would enter in here Bose headphones, click save, and that would just replace what was listed there already. Now, if we want to do a more advanced, I'd say, um, you know, change in the question, you could also click here edit, and here you could very, very, oops, very, very easily and quickly change your question. Um, you could easily change your answer choices and so on and so forth. So once you do finish with that process, you can go here and click save. And then um, I do recommend after you finish going through the questions and making sure that it's relevant before clicking next over here, I do recommend clicking preview and test. This way we can see you know, what it is that a user will see when he's answering your survey. So here's a survey. You can actually scroll through it as the same as one of your email subscribers are going to be doing. Um, there are many uh, mobile users these days um, using both tablets, smartphones, and you know, different kinds of mobile products. So I do recommend not just looking at the desktop view, taking a look down here in tablet view or on phone view, for example. Um, when would this make a difference? Um, if you have a question that's really long and it's hard to read through a smartphone, I would definitely recommend trying to cut it short a little bit. Um, also, as you can see, this doesn't look that great on a mobile device. I think it's still okay in this case, but if for some reason you didn't do zero through 10 and you did zero to 15, um, the each individual number would probably be very thin and if you think about a user using a smartphone and clicking it with his thumb it's probably very likely going to be uh, too thin and it's going to make it a poor customer experience so once you go through all that and you feel confident you can click over here in the x and we can go next So the next step here, okay, so I, I did cover this a little bit in the post. You'll be able to see it below. Um, you have two options here that I most recommend. You don't want to buy responses. It's assuming that we already have subscribers and that's, that's really uh, what you guys are going to be doing. Um, so you do have a few options, post social media, share and messenger. If you want just the simplest, simplest, simplest option, you can either do send by email or get web link. Um, here's the major difference. If you do send by email, uh, you will be sending through SurveyMonkey directly to emails that you actually list into SurveyMonkey. So we'll take a quick look. So in this case, um, you would have to actually click in this area, send to, and you would have to actually add individually each recipient that you would want to send to, for example just two as, as an example. Um, here you would select what you want your subject line to be. Here you would be able to change by clicking the edit button over here if you did want to change what the actual email message said. Once you've finished that process and you would like to move forward, you would click on next. So over here, um, if we were a verified account, um, you would have the option of moving forward because this is just a, a, a test email that I was using for SurveyMonkey. Um, I'm not gonna verify this account, but uh, basically you would click on the button next and then you would simply have the option of either sending right now or scheduling a date and time. So after you just determine if you wanna send it immediately or schedule a date and time, um, you can click on send now and then start to collect your results. Now, alternatively, if you do not want to do the email sending directly through SurveyMonkey, then you have the alternative option. Hold on, let me find it. Get back to where we were before. I'll find it. Yep, 
in any case, you did see in the other screen where we had the option of sending by email or the web link um, that the other option I was recommending was web link. Um, just to make it simple, because I'm not finding that original screen. Um, this, this is ultimately this option in my selection of clicking web link here is the exact same as if I had clicked on a web link in the other original um, page where I had those two options. So I'm going to go back and I'm just going to click this web link. And it's going to give me this link. And basically what I'm going to do with this link is I'm going to copy it. And now um, it's very, very simple. I can take that link and paste it into any message I want to send to any of my subscribers in any channel that I'd like, whether it be social media, whether it be email, SMS, whatever it may be. Um, it's really, in my opinion, the easiest way of doing this because you can send a very individual, personalized message to the, to the person that you're sending it to. Um, and you can ask him very kindly for his response to your survey and uh, attach this link here. He'll click on it and he'll go through the survey exactly as, as we had looked at it before. Um, and that's just about it. Once you're done with that, you're going to be able to have the option to analyze results, um, which is going to be in this area. You'll see uh, more or less, you'll see what people are responding in real time. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So good luck. Hope you guys have really, really great response from your customers and if you have any questions feel free to comment below or send us an email thanks bye